Mina, Ohio Gazimus, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Yep, it's morning time yet again, as per usual with me. Let's go into Psalm chapter 6 for today. It's so weird calling it chapter 6 because it's actually just Psalm 6, whereas the Bible doesn't normally have chapters in the Psalms, there really are 150 of them. So they kind of are chapters. But at the same time, they're not chapters, they're individual songs. Psalms were originally songs. Well, with that history lesson out of the way, I guess we'll just call them, I could call them Psalm 6 or Psalm chapter 6. I'm not going to commit to either one, because I've never really thought about it. I'll just alternate between the two. Anyway, Psalm 6, I'm going to do, I'm going to start with verse 8 and just read it on verse 10, which is the end of this chapter. I just referred to it as both in the same, in the same little uh, sentence there. That was pretty good. Okay. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity, for the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord will receive my prayer. Let all my enemies be ashamed and greatly troubled. Let them turn back and be ashamed suddenly. My thoughts on this are our enemies, normally speaking, are Satan and his demons. Um, Ephesians chapter 6 makes that very clear, especially for us in the New Testament era, where I've said over and over again on my channel, that our fight is a spiritual one, not a physical one. We don't, you know, bust out swords or bust out guns. We pray, we worship, we quote the Word of God. That's how we fight. I would like to take just a moment, however, to acknowledge that there are certainly physical battles that are fought, not necessarily like with weapons or wars or between nations or something like that. But there are times when we are dealing with other humans who I think would, it would be completely correct to call them workers of iniquity. And certainly we all have enemies. Certainly that term is an appropriate one. I think that's a term that any human being who's lived not even 10 years, um, even if they don't, haven't heard the word somehow, although most 10-year-olds probably have, we all have people that we just don't get along with. And even amongst the very young, there are certainly workers of iniquity. We are to love our enemies, don't get me wrong, but if someone's doing something wrong, not like, now again, I'm not taking this to the level of like an actual battle or like a war or something like that, that's another topic altogether. I'm just referring to in our day-to-day -day lives, be it at the workplace, be it amongst um, people that we know. Sometimes it can even be at church. Non-Christians certainly do go to church and we want them at church. That's probably the best place for them to be. However, when we see a worker of iniquity working iniquity, there should be a part of us that just righteously stands up and says, no, that's not right. I'm not going to stand for this. I'm not going to tolerate this. I'm going to speak out against it. I will act out against it. I will do what I can to stop this from happening. While we're loving our enemies, while we're praying for them, loving them, blessing those who curse us, Let's also remember to pray for our victory and their defeat. We do want the workers of iniquity saved. We don't want them to continually work iniquity. We don't want them disrupting our homes. Um, yeah, sometimes our enemies can be those in our own household. We don't want them disrupting our homes, our church, our workplace, our community. We don't want that. We should pray for and actively speak out and work towards not just in prayer, but also in our actions and the things that we do. We should work towards righteousness. We should work towards things going in a godly direction. We should strive for those things. So while we're praying for our enemies and praying for their repentance, let's also pray for our victory and their defeat, that sin may be put down and righteousness and holiness may be exalted, whether the non-Christians like it or not. Because ultimately, may the Lord's kingdom come and may His will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And I think we all know where that prayer comes from. If not, it's the Lord's Prayer. Check out, I was like, yeah, all, all three of the Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. We've all, we all know that one. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.